in this video I'll show you how to boost your Amazon profits using the ad groups. Hi, I'm Raz Dita, co-founder at Horizon Marketing, a full-service Amazon marketing agency. Today I'll guide you through creating a heat map for Amazon's hourly PPC performance. This easy method is going to help you understand and identify the best times for setting up your AdWords. So the first thing we need to do is basically to download the report, which we can find in measurement uh, and reporting. We click here and basically sponsor that report. Uh, we need to press create report and we need to go for the campaign one. So report type campaign and now we need to take the hourly report. Well, here is the catch. Amazon is allowing us up to 14 days of data and I think this kind of makes sense because it's a lot of data. Each campaign has an hourly performance metric. So that's quite a big chunk of data. So what we can do, we can analyze the last 14 days, but we can be even more strategic and analyze each week and we can compare the weeks to understand if we did better or a worse job. So let's run the report and get the data for the 14 days. Okay, so our report is ready. So all we need to do now is to download it. And basically, it's very important that we open the file. And this is not going to be seen on the screen just because I'm reporting one window, but overall I'll explain what I'm doing here. We open the file and we delete a couple of columns and we copy all the data. And I'll show you something very cool right now. So we built a tool here. So I'll give you a bit of context. We're very systemized at Horizon and we build a lot of tools in-house. So this is one of them. And we just created this in order to manage better the AdWords. But overall, what we need to do is to delete all the columns from that report and to keep only the start time, the spend, the cost per click, seven day total ACOS, ROAS and seven day total sales. And I copied all the information, a part of the columns titles, and I'll just paste special. Next step, very simple. Let's add a name, test one, but you can add any name. So basically we manage many clients. So we usually use the abbreviation for the client for November to 18th of November. Okay, if you want, you can actually add the description as well. Save and reset. If you're using this for the first time because it, it's using macros, you need to approve it. All right, so we press again, save and reset after uh, allowing, and there you go. This is a heat map. So basically, what's the purpose of this? Um, so because Amazon is uh, providing the report, but the report itself is very, very hard to manipulate. So it's very, very complex. It has a lot of uh, information, but we actually managed to process the report in a way that we basically understand the ACOS per report. Here is a heat map of the hourly performance for the PPC in the last 14 days. And what we can see, we can actually see the ACOS on an hourly basis. And this is quite interesting because we can understand the volume of orders, the volume of sale, the spend and sales for each hour. So what can we see? We can see that uh, the biggest amount of orders is from 10 to uh, 20. So we have a 10 hour gap and that kind of makes sense. Yeah. So we can see this reflected in the spend as well and the sales as well. That's fine. But, but the most interesting part is that we need to understand what is the gap that brings us the most profit. We're looking to understand which timeline brings us the most profit. So we're looking to get the smallest takeoffs. So analyzing here, what I can see is that it kind of starts with 8 a.m. and we have a very good ACOS on 8 a.m. And after that, we start to have from maybe 11 to up to 20. So what we can do, we can actually add a rule to increase the bits from 11 to 20. Well, there are different ways you can do that. You can either decrease the bits. So it only depends on your strategy. Yeah? So we can decrease all the bits 
using a bulk flat file. So for example, we can use, it depends how aggressive you want to be, because if you want to be very, very aggressive, so if you're having a limited budget, so for example, let's say you want to spend only 200 pounds per day and you all the time either you're spending much more or you're hitting your spending cap if you have one. So in this scenario, I would suggest to add a decrease in 50% of the bits, very, very aggressive for all your bits. Uh, this considering you're already optimizing very well your bits based on other strategies. But overall, you decrease all your bits with 50% and in this example, we would increase the bits from 11 to 20 with 50%, yeah? So basically we would run on about full bits for the full amount, for only the gap between 11 and 20. After that, for one week, let's analyze the spend. Let's see if, you, if we are hitting the 200 pounds or not. And of course, you need to understand again the profitability per hour. So that's why we built an analyzer. And basically what we can do here, we can actually import the test one and we can import another file. So we can, all the files that we saved, we can actually import them into the analyzer and we can compare one month with another because it's very important to actually make informed decisions based on the reports that we build. So for example, we took the decision to create add rules from 11 to 20. Unfortunately, Amazon does not provide a bulk option. So we actually uh, got in touch with Amazon, tried to, uh, to ask if there is any way of providing this and unfortunately it's not. So to do so, this option is available only for sponsor products. So we go to sponsor products, apply. And now we basically need to go to, to sort the campaigns uh, in spend. So for example, we're running hundreds of campaigns. So that's why we do that. Just because we want to focus on the campaigns that are actually spending the most. So basically we go in, in the first campaign and we go to campaign settings. And here we have the ad schedule rule. Yeah. So we press ad schedule rule and we need to go for a choose a start time and an end time. We go for 11 up to 20 and we need to increase the bits with 50%. But please bear in mind that you have to decrease all the bits in order to implement this strategy. And we can call this rule 11 to 20. Cool. So we add this rule and we can refresh the page and we'll see this rule active. This is very important, especially when you have a limited amount of budget. There are many things that we can do. So this is only one example. Another way to look at this is by creating rules based on the days. So we go for weekly and we can actually run only in the days that are the most profitable. And to do so, you need to basically go to campaign to not take a report on a daily basis or on an hourly basis to take it on a daily basis and to understand which days are performing the best for you. And you can actually combine the rules and you can have an hourly rule to run on a 30% increase and you can have a daily rule to run on a 10 to 20% increase depending on the day. So it's, I think it's very important to, under, uh, to understand your uh, customer archetype and when and the purchasing behavior. So when are they shopping the most? And you can actually combine them in order to get the best performance. But it's a lot of data and it needs to be processed and analyzed. And I think we need a couple of at least two months of weekly optimization to get to the highest result. Uh, we already implemented this for about five of our clients and all of them have seen improvements in ACOS and we want to keep improving it until a point where it's very, very optimized. This allows us to, uh, to allocate more budget only because it's, it's much more profitable. Well, uh, I'll tell you something. So the good part is that we want to offer this for free. So if you want to have access to, to this tool, it's, uh, you'll find it for free in the description. So all you need to do is to click on the link 
and you have access for free for this one. Internally, we have a lot of tools that we build in-house. So tools like this, which allows us to help our clients to build up their sales. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed our content, please like, subscribe, comment. And if you want to have access to the tool, please feel free to get it. Thank you very much and wish you a lovely day.